What's up everyone, this is Jason here. I've been getting a lot of questions and well, actually a lot of requests on how to change the output pressure on a regulator. So we finally are going to sit down and talk about this and go a little bit more in depth. Now before we get started on anything, make sure whatever tank you are using, it is completely bone dry. You do not need, do not ever do this, and I mean ever do this, with any bit of air inside of a tank. It is a hazard waiting to happen. With all the markers on the market today, there's a lot of them that require, oh, a mid pressure or a high pressure or an extremely low pressure. A few examples, the Bob Wong G6R, Machine Vapor, Lux, even the new Insight we've been, we just got. These are guns that require mid pressure, and I'm sorry, low pressure. Low to, to mid, and you should be okay. So, in order to do this, <clears throat> now, this tank, when I first got it, had a high pressure regulator. I took it off because it was a non adjustable, and I went ahead and I got an SHP Ninja Reg. Now, there's two regs. The SHP comes already at the 800 PSI, which is basically out of the out of the box you get it in the SLP is a low pressure regulator which comes low pressure already so now the first thing you want to do before you monkey with this is go online and find out what kind of output pressure from your regulator the marker you're wanting to buy or the marker you have is saying should be ran at that's the first thing we want to do a few things you're going to do is of course get a Dixie cup or a petri dish so you can put the screws into it. The other thing is with the Ninja Regs, you do get a little tool bag kit, which we're going to talk. We're going to show you what to do. In order to get the shims out, so you're not just sitting there banging on the table, I would recommend picking up a spring hook. These are relatively cheap. You can get them at Rite Aid, Target. You can get them anywhere. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to take our tool tool mark two tools out and like we did we're going to make sure that this is completely bone dry there's no air coming out of it on the top of the regulator you can see you have a series of allen screws the ones we're going to want to remove are not on the silver but are on the actual black part of the reg on top so take your allen And now most people just loosen these. I actually completely take them out. And we'll put them in our cup right there. Okay, we'll rotate it again, do the same thing. And here's our last one. Once all three of them are gone, take the little loosener tool, the threader, whatever you want to call it, screw it in a little bit. You don't need to torque this thing down and, and then start using it to remove it. Okay. Now before we take the shims out, there's a couple things I want to go over. <clears throat> With all of the piston assemblies in your regulator, you're going to have two kinds. You're going to have a spring stack, which is this. Never touch these. Let them be. Don't monkey with them. These are not your shims. Or, for example, with a SS reg or a crossfire reg, this is an actual spring. So like I mentioned, don't mess with these. Don't put oil on them. Never touch this. Just don't monkey with it. Now, this is where the spring hook comes in. Inside, you're going to see silver discs. Those are your shims. Okay, so we'll take the spring hook. And of course, I got to look real quick. I apologize. Okay, and we have one more in there. And like I said, you know, sometimes these things are not the easiest to get out. 
if it takes you a while, okay, but you know what, just, just be careful, don't cause any damage. There we go. Okay. So, with the ninja regs, we're going to put this, the tank aside. You have three shims in your reg. When all three are installed, your output pressure is 800 PSI. When there's only two shims installed, your output pressure is 700. When there's only one shim installed, your output pressure is 550. When you have no shims installed, your output pressure then becomes 450. Now, these discs or these shims are extremely delicate. Do not bend these. Do not throw them. Keep them safe if you decide to convert your tank. Now, pay attention to what reg you get. Depending on the reg, some of these are red, which a certain color combination then can show you the PSI that you're outputting. So, the, because of the guns I shoot, I always keep one shim in because I like shooting my tanks at 550. That's what I've always done. I have had nothing but good luck with it. I can shoot it on my, my V2. I was able to do it with my machine vapor and it caused me no issues. So, once you're done and you get the desirable shims you want, take it. And I know I'm sorry about this, and just drop it in. That's all you have to do. Once it's in, take your top part of your reg, begin to screw it back on with your hand. Now, <clears throat> once you get it lined up, you're going to tell it's lined up because you're going to see a little bit of a scruff mark from where the Allens were. Okay? So, of course, just like we did, one at a time, take one Allen out. Get it on. And now make sure these are going in straight because if not, you will strip it. Okay? Once you get to the point that it's snug, just give one quick turn and now that is locked in place. Okay? And we're going to do the same thing again. We're just going to turn it by hand. And once it's snug, one quick turn, one more time. Once it's snug, one quick turn, and now what we're going to do is the shims that we took out, put in the baggie, put someplace safe, do not lose these. And of course, we'll take the two tools, seal the bag, and you are now done. Now, word of the wise, like I said, always have a, a little cup or a petri dish. And depending on the regulator you use is how you will reduce the output pressure. Now, this is a Ninja Pro reg, okay? And I also have my old reg. This is a Crossfire reg, okay? Same thing. You have to remove these, unscrew it. Now, these, you have to actually replace the entire spring. It's a spring that has less tension to it. So, just be careful what reg you are looking into and go ahead and contact the manufacturer of your regulator to find out how you do it. This is showing you how to do a Ninja Pro reg. So this is Jason showing you guys how to change the output pressure on your tank. Thank you very much for watching.